Welcome to 7 News at 11. This just in. We've got some video that shows the flames crowning in the trees in the Gateway Park area. This is northwest of Fort Collins. Here's the video just into the station. A lot of activity here within the last 30 minutes in that Hewlett fire. Our crew estimates the fire is now less than a quarter mile from Seaman Reservoir. The Hewlett fire has exploded from nearly 1,000 acres to more than 5,000 acres now in just the, just the last 24 hours. Kind of a bleak outlook headed into today's firefight. We have gusty, erratic winds, and there's barely a chance of rain in our forecast. That's the bad news. Officials are preparing to close part of Poudre Canyon to set a back burn, and 7 News reporter Eric Lufer received an update on that within the last hour. Eric, fill us in. Well, we just got this in. We're hearing that there have been mandatory evacuations. That's the word. Now fire officials are trying to confirm that. That just came in within the last minute. Let's just keep that in mind. No surprise here because the fire is very active. I'm going to step out of the shot and show you what's going on. You can hardly see the mountains near the fire zone because of all the smoke. The fire so active and really has a mind of its own. Only Mother Nature can decide where this one goes next. Take a look at this. The fire still burning out of control. This is video from Air Tracker 7. The Hewlett fire, just 5% contained. It grew north and east overnight within a mile of the Glacier View subdivision. It's big, more than 550 homes. During this morning's briefing, I asked why it hadn't been evacuated. Uh, it, it's not near the majority of the Glacier View area, just that southeast corner that has a, a relatively smaller number of homes in it. So we are watching that uh, perimeter and uh, we can change our uh, precautionary notifications if necessary. Back here live, Bonner Ranch Road to 287 South. That is where we're seeing these mandatory evacuations. My producer just told me that in my ear about 15 seconds ago. Again, Bonner to 287 South. That's the mandatory evacuation. Right now you're looking at Highway 14 because we're talking about also that uh, planned backburn in Poudre Can Canyon. I'm being told weather permitting that will happen later this afternoon so residents can expect temporary closures of Highway 14 here and you can see that trooper parked on the side of the road ready to close this at a moment's notice. So again, a lot coming in right now. We've got mandatory evacuations, a backburn plan for later this afternoon and this fire is still burning out of control. Back to you. Eric, we appreciate the update. Thank you very much. And we also want to fill you in on how the fire has exploded in size. Yesterday, Alan Aragon sent us this picture from his salvage yard in Fort Collins. And Ruth took this photo near Wellington. And you can see the storm pushing the smoke closer to the ground. Still very hazy this morning. We can see from a video from Air Tracker 7 there this earlier this morning, the Larimer County Health Department has issued an advisory for children, the elderly, and those with respiratory conditions, again in Larimer County. And for those of you in those categories, here's a rule of thumb. If visibility is less than five miles or you can smell the smoke, it is unhealthy to be outside. Now, we have had some reports of uh, residents smelling this uh, fire as far south as Westminster. Our crew member, 7 News photojournalist Major King, is at Cash Laputer Elementary School in Laporte. And Major, the smoke is affecting today's activities at the school. <laughs> it's affecting me right now, Bertha. I tell you, the, uh, we are in the smoke plume. The winds are, according to my cell phone, are out of the south southwest, but that's down in Fort Collins. If you look at the plume behind me, it really is following a northwesterly to southeasterly direction, which takes it right over Fort Collins. Because of that, the Poudre School District has issued restrictions on outdoor recess for the elementary kids and uh, also um, recreational opportunities for the middle and high school kids. And with me to talk just a little bit more about that is Roxanne Hall. Roxanne is the principal here at Cash the Poudre Elementary School. Roxanne, what's going on today? Today, Larimer County Health Department has issued an, an air quality advisory, a health advisory, because of the air quality from the smoke from the Hewlett fire. Um, and as a precaution, Poudre School District has requested that middle schools and high schools reschedule any athletic activities um, and or postpone those. For elementary schools, we've been uh, asked to keep our students inside for recess. Um, and in fact, this morning when the kids came on the bus or were dropped off, we took them immediately into the school building. Um, and additionally, internal ventilation systems uh, have all been shut down so to, to protect the indoor air quality of, of the schools. Right now, PSD is not closing any schools, um, but we're keeping in close contact with Fire Command and, and uh, Larimer County, and we'll take precautions when we need to. 
Thank you very much, Roxanne Hall, from who she's the principal here at Cash Laputer Elementary School. And we have just gotten word that the Cash Laputer Middle School, it's really literally just across the parking lot uh, from where I'm standing, is going to be the gathering point for those, those folks from Bonner Peak, uh, Bonner Springs subdivision that are now under a mandatory evacuation just in the last 15 minutes. If those folks need a place to come to, that would be here at Cash Laputer Middle School. Uh, guys, I just came down from the canyon. I was at Gateway Park shooting that flames video that we show, showed at the top of the newscast it's it's unbelievable it's growing uh, in a south easterly direction now at least on that front of the fire it is within a quarter of a mile of Seaman Reservoir and that's where the type 1 and type 2 helicopters are dipping in their water to try to fight this fire there's a second type 1 chopper that's supposed to be coming later today and there is an air tanker this uh, story just continues to evolve rapidly it is all related to the winds and we'll see where that takes us later this morning live at Cash Laputer Elementary School in Laporte Major King 7 News it certainly has exploded in the last 24 hours. Thank you, Major. Yes, it is growing exponentially. And the bottom line on the Hewlett fire, this is what we know. An infrared flight gave a better estimate on the size of the fire. It's now estimated at 5,090 acres. There are 391 people working the fire. More air resources are on order. Highway 14 in Poudre Canyon will be closed this afternoon as crews set backburns. And a lot of their plans are depending on cooperation from the weather. Again, mandatory evacuations from Bonner Springs Subdivision, Bonner Ranch Road to 287 South. And that fire is just now only 5% contained as it continues to grow.